Hi, my name is Kennedy Garrett and I'm a senior at STEM School Chattanooga. I'm here to explain how the Hamilton County Schools budgeting process works. I know, I know that might not sound too exciting, but ultimately school budgets are about me. How my school is funded affects me, my peers and the teachers, staff and family members who support my learning and well-being. So it's important to understand. First things first, let's talk dollars. In the 2022-2023 school year, the Hamilton County Schools operating budget was over $450 million. Approximately half of this budget comes from our local Hamilton County government through property and sales tax revenue. The remaining amount comes almost entirely from the Tennessee Department of Education, though a small portion of this does come from other funding streams. How much money our district gets from the state of Tennessee is mostly based on the number of students we have. The more students, the more funding. But it's a bit more complicated than it sounds. With the implementation of the Tennessee Investment in Student Achievement Act, or TISA for short, starting with the 2023-2024 school year, funding from the state will look a little different than it has in the past. Our district will receive a base funding amount for each student. Then additional funds will be provided depending on each individual student's needs, such as the number of students with economic need or unique learning needs. Now that we have an idea of how much money our district receives, it's time to determine how that money is budgeted and allocated to support our students and schools. Hamilton County Schools funds 81 different school buildings in our community and serves just under 45,000 students. We know each school is different, so how do we determine how much funding each school gets? Similar to the TISA model that we just discussed, this school year, Hamilton County Schools will be funding each of our schools through a student-based budgeting model. Our model allocates a set number of school positions based on the number of students enrolled in the school. These positions include teachers, principals, school counselors, nurses, and all of the employees that make a school building run. On top of the base positions, schools receive a specific dollar amount per student, and that number then increases based on student needs. Each school can use these supplemental dollars to hire additional staff and fund other student support initiatives to meet the personalized needs of their students and school community. This school-based staffing alone represents close to 65% of our expected operating budget. Remember, now that we've staffed our schools and accounted for our mandatory operational expenses, we still have about 15% of our budget left to allocate. How do we determine where these dollars are spent? This part is where you come in. Each year, we host budgeting planning meetings and invite community members and stakeholders to help identify priorities. These priorities can include high quality instructional materials, student and staff technology, professional development opportunities, and enhanced learning opportunities for students, such as summer programming, future ready institutes, and more. It's important that we work together to determine how Hamilton County Schools can best serve our students and families while being an excellent steward of our community's resources. After HCS has received school budget requests and has worked with our community members to set district funding priorities, HCS presents our operating budget proposal to the school board. If approved, it will then be sent to the Hamilton County Commission, the legislative body that serves as the final vote on our district's budget. Join us at the budget planning meeting this year to be a part of the process. You can head to our website to learn more about the specific dates, times, and locations. We look forward to working with each of you to create opportunities by design so that all HCS students can thrive and experience a future without limits.